I am Los Focus Sharp. Today's March 24th, 2024. And today's Palm Sunday. I got this at 6.01 this morning. And again, this is talking to backsliders, people that are walking not with the Lord the way they should be. I don't know, the Father's Spirit, Jesus, they're reaching out to people right now for repentance, for people to come to them. And for even for us as the body of Christ to clean our lives up. That's what's going on. Because that's how the sons of God rise up. We walk away from the world. We follow Jesus. We keep um, walking out of the sins in our lives. And we we walk in holiness. <laughs> and it will happen. Because that's what the disciples did. So Father, we thank you for your words of truth. Help us get through what we're going through. Um, we know the eclipse is coming. You're going to stamp America with the letter A, Olive. And you're declaring America yours. And we will watch and see how you take back the White House. So we thank you for that. And Palm Sunday, in case some of you don't know, it was before he went to the cross and he came into Jerusalem and they worshipped him and they took palms and they threw it down on the ground. As he entered into Jerusalem. And um, Jesus said. I weep. I'm like a mother hen with my chicks. Because he knew what was going to happen. They worshipped him one day. And a week later they put him on the cross. And they turned on him. That's how fast people can turn on you. That's why we're to love one another. We're to know who we are. We're to love Jesus no matter what happens in our lives. We don't turn on Jesus or we don't turn against him ever. Even if we don't understand, it's not his fault. I say that again. It's not the Lord's fault, the situations that we go through in this life. If you want to get angry, get angry at the devil and rebuke him in Jesus' name. But don't ever get angry at God or Jesus or the Holy Spirit. Because they never do anything to hurt us, ever. Matter of fact, they're the ones that come in and help rescue us. So listen to what he has to say. I'm going to explain a couple things in this because this like came out of nowhere. Twiddly D and twiddly dumb. Don't even try to run. You cannot hide. You're standing by the devil's side. And all you want to do is see it through so you can be famous like Amos. Your heart is not pure, but you endure. As you look to deceive, not to please. And evil has taken over your heart from the very start. When you turned away on that summer's day and decided you would no longer follow the Lord, but ignore. For you were told the truth, but you did not care. For evil kept you scared. And in your torment of heart, you did part. Let me take you back and put you on track. For you are not a lost cause, just one who ignores. So it's time to listen and see what you've been missing. This side of the fence has green pasture and it's free for all to come and graze and be part of the family that has love for one another as true sister and brother. And you never have to feel alone as you roam because on this earth, you'll be part of this new birth and the world will see that Yeshua is the key to eternity. Love the spirit, hear it. I looked up Twiddly D and Twiddly Dumb, and they were characters <clears throat> in Alice in Wonderland, and they're, they're characters that have been out there. Basically, they're like identical in their own way, and they're very much like each other, but they, they represented villain types, people that were not really doing the right things in life. So he's say, saying from the get-go in there, Twiddly D and twiddly dumb don't even try to run. In other words, you're not living the right lifestyle. You can't run from God, basically is what he's saying there. And there's a couple things involved in this, but I just was walking around the house and this is what came to me. When he says famous like Amos. Amos could be the guy that made the cookies. Famous Amos. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. He's using a word that rhymes, obviously, but people looking to become famous. And I think that's what he means. Famous like Amos. 
You know, we all want to be known out there, don't we? So we have to be very careful of that. We're not looking to be famous. We should not be looking to be famous. If God puts you out there and you get famous, make sure you take it in humility. Because there's always a reason why he put somebody out there and they get known. And they're supposed to have a purpose for it. Not for their own glory trip. But whatever we do on this earth should be to glorify him and always bring it back to the Lord because all our gifts and all our talents, all the abilities that we have come from our father. So we should never take credit for it and get prideful in it. So there's a whole thing that he's telling us there. So Gary and I love you much and have a blessed day. And I'll be back when he sends me back again.